what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. We're going to talk about the main event. They want to say it's two cold main events, but we're going to talk about Jamil Charlo turning on Jason Rosario in the three belt unification clash. Let's get into it. Breakdown prediction. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. I think this is a fun fight. Um, you know, I think it's a lot of questions to be answered on both sides in this fight. Um, you look at Rosario, kind of some uh, pre build up talk. The question is, is it, was it, you know, a fluke that he beat Julian Williams? Was it about Williams not being ready, not being prepared? Um, was it about Williams making the same mistake, excuse me, that um, Jared Hurd made in his homecoming? Or was it about Rosario actually taking his training serious in the halfway house training? That's the question. Um, I watched some earlier fights from Rosario, and, you know, he fought Jorge Cotta's type of fight. He fought Cotta in the trenches. Cotta was able to push him, push him, you know, back a little bit and kind of bully him a little bit in that fight. Um, Rosario showed the ability to fight on the inside. I haven't seen that from Jamel Charlo. Every time the fight, you know, gets, you know, Every time the fights get to, you know, to be aggressive, Jamil, even in the Derrick James type of style that he's fighting, Jamil always retreats. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think Rosario going into this fight, I think there are multiple game plans that he couldn't have to be, to, he can't do to beat Jamil Charlo. You look at Jamil Charlo, you know, it's all about being focused um, and not being emotional. You know, he's a very emotional fighter. We talked about his brother fight with his emotions. He's more emotional. In this fight, you know, Rosario does some things that can clip him. You know, if he is true, what everybody's saying, he can crack with both hands. Should be an interesting fight. But with him, it's all about staying focused and really, you know, you know, fighting this style to the T. You know, and he believe in and he believe in that style that he's fighting in. It's very beatable. That style is very defeatable. But right now, he got a good opponent in front of him. Um, for that style, you know, that, that type of style, you know, Terry Norris, Floyd, Sugar, I mean, excuse me, Sugar Ray Robinson, Floyd Mayweather, you know what I'm saying? You know, those guys trying to, you know, kind of attack that style. You know what I'm saying? He's too emotional. He telegraphs all his punches, but he's able to get away with it because once again, he has great stamina. He has great chin, you know, and then again, even when he telegraphed his shots, him and Keith Thurman are two of the fighters that telegraph every shot. They wind up, they load up. He's so athletic and he's so explosive, he can get away with it, okay? But let's jump into the real prediction. We're done with the pre-talk. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Follow the fight prediction playlist. Some fights I'll, I'll be predicted coming up. I mean, whew, I can't wait. My favorite fight of the year, Tiafima Lopez versus Lomachenko. Um, Gervonta taking on Leo Santa Cruz I'll be doing. Devin Haney versus Gamboa. Uh, Luke Campbell, Ryan Garcia. I have some for that. Uh, Mike and Roy, not so much. Uh, and Earl and Danny, no. Kel and Terrence, yeah. Only reason I say no, no to Earl and Danny is probably because I don't know how to predict what type of shape Earl gonna be in. So I don't want to. I don't want to go out there and see him. I can't see him. What he doing camp? With reason Ariola, I do that one as well. Wilder Fury 3, if they do it, of course, I'll be on it. But, um, yeah, I started off with uh, Charlo in this one, Jamel. Um, strengths, great chin, very fast. Out of this style that he's fighting with, um, great power. When he's set to throw, he's he's a dangerous fighter. If, you know, he's not going to throw if he ain't set. So, um, just good punching power, good speed out this style. Um, amazing chin, amazing stamina. Um, amazing belief. He got great intangibles, but uh, the one intangible that hurts him the most is his emotion. But it's also the tangible that can be that can you know that they have that that can really pull him through. But you know, you just look at him. He got a dangerous left hook. He got a dangerous straight right hand. He got a solid jab. Um, he an underrated body puncher as well too. One thing I 
one thing I can notice, I mean, I want to know if shit get, you know, you ever seen somebody learn one style, you know, and, and they get pressured really, really bad and they learn this one style and they revert back to what they used to be. That's what I want to know. I want to know if things get so grimy for Charlo, will, you know, and, and, and it's, it's looking bad. Will he go back to the style that he used to fight? And that was a guy that can punch on the move. That's a guy that had excellent foot movement. That was a guy that had good defense. You know, he wasn't the most exciting fighter to fight, and that's because his opponents wasn't that exciting. But when you talk about if he can put that style that he used with Ronnie Shield and that style with Derrick James together, you're talking about probably the best complete fighter, you know, going in the game. You know what I'm saying? Because his ability to catch, shoot, slip, you know, use angles, and, and really have tremendous footwork, he used to get punch on the move, and you just look at Derrick James, he just took him and made him into an Earl Spence clone. And I just don't... I don't really think that style fits him the most, the best, but you just wonder if it gets so bad, will he revert back to those things? But one thing is that haven't changed, but I'll get to that in a minute. Let's talk about Rosario. Rosario, I think in this fight, he could fight on the inside, and I think he could, I think he can dog Charlo on the inside. His inside fighting, he got bazookas in both hands. Um, he can counter punch a little bit too. Um, you know, he can dig to the body a little bit. So you just he got you doing some good things, you know what I'm saying? Okay, little jab and good right hand, good left hook. He can fight on the inside a little bit. He can fight backwards going a little bit. Um, you know, tremendous, you know, good power in both hands. So he a solid fighter. He can knock you out with either hand. Um, he can fight going forward. He okay going backwards. You know, got a solid jab. You know, he can counter punch just enough. So good fighter, you know what I'm saying? We just gotta know, like Method Man say, is it real? Is it really, really real? Is it real that he belongs on this level, or is it the guy that fought Carter? Is it the guy that fought Jamonte Clark? Is it the guy that got knocked out by Nathaniel Gallimore? Is he that guy, or is he, or was he a guy, or he, or was he lucky to beat J Rock, or is he really that guy that struggled when he first came over for Dominican Republic in his first fight in the states with Nathaniel Gallimore? Talk about weaknesses with Charlo, his emotion. He get emotional in the ring, and I think. His emotions leave him open for a lot of shots. You know what I'm saying? But you know, one of his one of his weaknesses is he 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 load up on every shot. He looking to throw a hard jab, and you know he not punching while he moving back no more. You know he used to whoop whoop pop pop pop. Piece up Demetrius Hopkins, Charles Muyaki, I pronounce his name. Uh, piece up Gabriel Rosado. You know Charlo is gonna move back, and if you notice, he ain't making no boxing moves. He's just waiting for the right time like an alligator or a crocodile mouth or a dog bite. You know, he is waiting, he's waiting, ready, he waiting to snap. You know what I'm saying? I had a snapping turtle called uh, Roxy Boxy because we got him in a box. And he snapped. And that's Charlo. He's just ready to snap. So he loads up. You know, a lot of fighters, when he, when he, when he loads up with his explosiveness and he start punching, a lot of fighters retreat. He miss, or he, if he miss, they don't make him pay. He able to, you know, reset and, you know, do it again. Charlo is looking to really for an opening where he can load up. And if you can, if you can really bait him into loading up and you can faint and he load up, you catch him. If he miss, you got to make him pay. Austin Trout wasn't able to make him pay. Tony Harrison did a bit because he got a tremendous job, but you got to make him pay. That's how you knock him out. You know, once he miss, you got to hit him with a shot he don't see coming. And he going to give you an opportunity, you know, so... He, he he loads up on every shot. When he punch, he punching to go forward. He ain't moving backwards, and he ain't he ain't moving backwards to punch. You know, you know it. When you on his ass, and you whatever you doing, you jabbing him. You know what I'm saying? You know, he see the right opportunity. He he gonna jump. He gonna jump into some shit. That's what's funny. You know, that's why Julian Jackson was tagging when John Jackson, Julian Jackson's son, was tagging him so much. You know what I'm saying? Because Charlo was jumping in with some crazy shit, and he was able to touch him. And Rosario gonna have to do that, but yeah, he 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 jumps in with some, you know, with himself wide open. Um, he's open to be encountered. His footwork, he gotta be set to throw. He don't throw on the move no more. Um, and also some of the things you notice about him, you know, he you know he he open to be hit. You know, um, and he don't like pressure. You go in the Vines fight, you know, going to the Tony Harrison fights, the second fight in particular. You know, if you pressuring him and you walking him down, you can hit him. The difference is, you know, Tony Harrison, he sat there too long in the second with him. He got caught with a left hook. His left hook is good. It's fast, it's strong, 
And also, you know, you got to keep working on him. You know, because once you tagging his ass and you stop and you reset, he look at you, then he want to snap forward. So, you know, counter punching is the key with him. And I don't think Tony Harrison was able to do that enough. And counter punching is a rare ability in boxing. You talking about a handful of fighters that can do it when they want to. You talking about Lopez, Danny Garcia, and it might be a few other guys out there. It's not a lot of guys, Mayweather, Bernard, Ward. It's not a lot of guys that can counter when they want to. It's, it's, you got to be patient. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, we see if Rosario can do it a little bit. But, yeah, those, you know, those kind of try those weaknesses right now, right there. And uh, there. you talk about Rosario weaknesses. Obviously, he got knocked out by Nathaniel Gallimore. You know what I'm saying? Um, is he a guy that fight up and down to his competition? And that Gallimore fight, Gallimore hit him, I think, with a left hook that he didn't see coming. It hurt him. He wasn't able to recover from that. Now, is his conditioning better? You know, he acclimated, he acclimated to be in the United States. Is that going to change his chin? I mean, Gallimore is one of the bigger punchers. You know, Gallimore might be a naturally bigger puncher than Jamel Charlo. I think Jamal Charlo is a better you know, all-around boxer, which make him a more dangerous puncher. But, you know, his chin is going to be a question. Um, you know, obviously with him, you know, you look at it and, you know, his footwork, you know, it's, it's not that great. It's okay, you know. It's, it's okay for what he do, but, you know, you look at him, he's going to have a, a speed disadvantage in this fight. Um, he fighting a guy that's the same height, almost they right around the same reach. Then he got a little bit longer reach than Charlo. Um, when you look at Rosario, you just look at a guy, you know, that fight up and down to his opposition. Um, you know, he got dropped. He got knocked out by Gallimore. Had a tough fight with Jamonte Clark. You know, my thing is hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Is that the guy that we going to see Saturday night that fought J-Rock? Or is we going to see the... Gallimore to Jamonte Clark to Jorge Cotta, you know, you know, version of Rosario. And, you know, Rosario's there to be hit. You know, he moves his head every now and again, but Rosario's there to hold his position and he could be hit. And, you know, that's going that's gonna be the thing about it. You know, can he take Charlo Power? Um, you know, can he oppose his style? But, you know, his weaknesses is, you know, his chin, you know, all you gotta know he got dropped. Fighting up and down to his competition. He going to be slower this fight. Um, you know, and, and those are just things you look for an experience level. You know, this is this is a dangerous fight. So, you know, I think he could be a little bit hittable. So, you know, he's talking about the game plan for him. Let's move on to the game plan for him. The game plan for, for him is a couple of ways he can go. Okay. My preferred method is to walk Charlo down, push him backwards, and... You know, when he jump out there with that crazy shit, y'all got to be ready to time him. And if you time him, you'll be able to knock him out. Trust me, you'll hurt him. So, you know, nobody's been able to really counter Charlo out of this style. But once again, he hasn't fought the greatest fighters of all time, neither. So, you you got to you gotta keep be on top of him. So, you know, um, Rosario got to keep the pressure on. That's just what it got to be. Rosario got to keep that jab moving. He got to stay on top of him. And when Charlo explodes with his one-two or explodes with his left hook, he got to be ready to stay at home. He got to make one of those Rosario counter punches. Rosario can counter punch his opponent. So if he can catch Charlo coming in with an uppercut or he can catch him coming in with a right hand, whatever he catches him coming in, to be able to, to, to tame this lion, you have to be able to counter him. You know, you have to anticipate that he's going to explode. Once you give him an opportunity to, and also you have to defend yourself, you know, your hands got to be up. This Charlo twin as well keeps, I meant to mention this earlier, a little bit tired. He keeps his lead hand down. So he's a sucker for the right hand. Tony Harrison landed the right hand at will. Only difference is Tony Harrison, pop, pop, reset. Don't stop. You know what I'm saying? You come in, you throw a jab. He's, he's going to go like this. I mean, 99.% of the time. You throw a jab, you get him out of position. He's going to go like this, drop that right hand on him, come back with another left hook, drop that right hand on him. He is going to posture at some point and go like this once you throw the jab and you come down with that right hand. Harrison did it religiously. Bam, and keep punching. You know, and then if you stop punching and he able to reset, you know he coming in either like this with a left hook right hand 
or he coming in with a like that. And if you able to time him coming in with that one, two of that left hook right hand, you he can be put to sleep. You know what I'm saying? He can be touched. So, you know, for, for Rosario, he, you know, he can pressure Charlo and pressure and Charlo never like going backwards. You know, but once again, you gotta be prepared to put punches together. You gotta be prepared to counter him and punch with him. When he punch, when he come with that wild shit, they gotta work on putting his power out. You know what I'm saying? Because if he able to miss, and it's and it's, and it's nothing coming back, he gonna, That's why he able to do the shit that he do now. This is the, why he able to throw one twos and left hooks wild. He able to jump in because there's no fear of being countered. If Rosario can find a way to punch with him when he jump in, why he's gonna knock him out? Also, what he can do is he can smother Charlo. You know what I'm saying? Also stay on top of him, but this time make it into an inside fight. I guarantee you that Charlo twin ain't got no inside game. Get on the inside with Charlo, you know, tie him up, beat him up with the other hand, grind him down, use your size. Body work, you know, that's another way. Just walk him down, do what Fury did versus, you know, Steve Cunningham. Walk him down, pressure him, you know, put your shoulder into him. And I guarantee you put that shoulder into him, my Fury, this the same dude who keeps his, 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 his lead hand low. Come over the top with the right hand like Fury did Steve Cunningham. You will have success. So the two ways that Rosario can really be successful in this fight is keeping Charlo on the back foot, boxing him, keeping up the end of his punches, you know, countering Charlo when he, when he bulldozes with that bullshit. Or, you know, you can stay on top of Charlo, punish him, fight him on the inside like Ward did, Alan Green, like uh, uh, who else he did like that. He, grind, he grinded a few dudes like that. Grind him down on the inside, put your shoulder to him, and just work him out. Charlo ain't got no inside game. I guarantee you he don't. You know what I'm saying? So those two ways he can go about it. The preferred way is probably staying on top of him and walking him into a counter shot when he explodes. But also, I don't think a bad idea for him as well is to get Charlo on the inside and fight him on the inside like he did Kata. And I guarantee you, if you get Charlo on the inside game, he ain't going to he ain't gonna be able to know what to do with you. He, he can't get leverage on any shot that he get. He's not a natural puncher. Some fighters can, can just, you know, they can just, Randall Bailey can just pop you and it hurt. Charlo needs to plant. He needs to be set. And he needs to really sit down on his shots to believe he can punch. If you bully Charlo and you make him fight on the inside and, and you fight him on the inside, he not gonna, he's not a threat. you smothering him. He can't generate power because he's not a natural puncher like that. So you talking about what Charlo should do, you know, obviously come out hot, test Rosario early, you know, stay, you know, in the style he fight, fight on the front foot, keep the jab going early, see if, you know, see if you can drag uh, Rosario into a firefight. I think uh, Charlo keep his guard high, he keep it tighter, um, even though he keep his lead hand low at times. And I think, you know, I would test Rosario earlier. I think work Rosario body like he did Harrison, you know, come upstairs. And I just think for him, Fighting the fight, you know, keeping Rosario on the back foot, you know, not letting Rosario get leverage on his shots. And, you know, hopefully everything is high and tight. Everything is, you know, is is real closer for him. And if you keep Rosario on the back foot, you know, you know, you should be winning this fight. I work up and down with my jab, come over the top with the right hand, um, you know, and Charlo and Charlo don't put his punches together. Well, everything is, is telegraphed. Everything is stiff. Um, but. You know, Rosario ain't got the greatest defense neither, so he should be able to hit Rosario a real. Rosario will move his head every now and again. He will counter. He will parry and all that stuff. But I think Charlo, the, the come behind the jab, you know, land big shots. We seen, with, you know, Julian Williams was able to put his punches better, you know, flow better than Charlo is. But I think Charlo come in behind the jab, straight right hand, you know, left hook, and just, just keep pressing Rosario, keep Rosario on the back foot. You know, set a pace that Rosario can't fight at. You know, I think grind him for the, to the body. You know, keeping him at the end of your punches. But um, I think that's the. I mean, that's the only only style that he can fight in. You know, I can't give him a game plan where, you know, you know he's not gonna utilize the tools. In a perfect world, you know, what he would do is use his jab, double his jab, use angles, keep Rosario off balance, use angles. You know, come behind the jab, shoot him with the two. You know, use an angle. You know, come back, double the jab. You know. You know, slide, you know, one, two, you know, just keep him off balance, jab to the body. You know what I'm saying? He he punch, slip, counter, you know, kind of use the style that he did with Ronnie Shields, but also kind of sit down a little bit more on the shots. But, you know, he can keep Rosario off balance just by coming forward, 
and also using his boxing skills and letting his punches flow a lot better. But I think he's going to come forward. He's going to be looking to knock Rosario out. And I think Rosario, you know, if he survives the first few rounds, you know, then he could become a dangerous threat. But ultimately, I think Charlo wins this fight. I think Charlo knocks him out around the eighth round, tenth round. I, I'm, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the eighth round. I think eventually, I think Jamel just is just too much speed, too much stamina. I think his chin is gonna be more durable. I think he did go through some trials and tribulations with Rosario punching power, but I think uh, he take the shots, and I think his stamina is better, and I think his chin is better, and I think he perseveres to an eighth round knockout. So. Yeah, I got Jamel Charlo knocking out Rosario, taking home the two belts. Um, you know, I you know, I think it's a good fight, but I just think Jamel Charlo, uh, more proven, better intangibles, better stamina, better jaw, and I think his style will prevail. I just don't think Rosario got enough defense um and enough stamina to keep up, and I don't think his chin can keep up. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you differ differ from. Let me know who you got winning in the comment section. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business question, cry, response, share video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash app CJ Good three one three dollar sign. Cash app PayPal in the description. That link there. Want to make a donation? Just share the video. But do appreciate it if you make a financial donation. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also got a Facebook group. All those social media links and groups in the description. Tired? Done both of these prediction videos. Let me know what you guys think. We gone.